Hey guys, it's Billy from Sweetie Darling and today I'm going to show you my first try at making a coloured mirror glaze cake. So I have done a chocolate glaze cake before, long, 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 long time ago and then the whole mirror glaze cake thing came in and it terrified me and every recipe and tutorial I saw for mirror glazes also terrified me. And then I saw one by Curtis from Acorn Bakes who I just love his videos. He does like baking videos, just everything he makes is beautiful and delicious looking. And he's lush, he's funny, he's just nice, like you can just tell he's a nice person. He's really good at what he does. And he posted a mirror glaze recipe. That's the only one I've seen so far that looks achievable and not like a ton of faffing around. So I'll we'll give that one a go, see how it works out. I've been pleasantly surprised. I'll tell you like what's in it, but quantities, I'm gonna put a link to Curtis's video underneath to Acorn Bakes so you can see his recipe, because it's his recipe, so it's not really fair if I give it out here. Go to his page and you'll see it there. It's, it's all linked to very clearly underneath his video. So for my cake underneath, I have started, I've, I've already layered up a vanilla cake, because you've seen me do that a lot by now. It's just a vanilla cake with layers of vanilla buttercream inside, and I've chosen ganache because it is absolutely boiling again this week so I have actually switched to ganache for all my cakes this week. I can't deal with buttercream at the moment so it's good white chocolate ganache for me and I make my white chocolate ganache with three parts white chocolate to one part cream. So I'm using my ganache to go around the outside of my cake and crumb coat it and just fill in any of the wibbly wobbly gaps that you get with a cake and then I put that in the freezer so that sets and it takes about, ganache sets much quicker than buttercream, so I probably left it in there for about, I'm gonna say five to 10 minutes. But it was really hard, like really, really firm. And then I bring it back out, and I do another coat of ganache around it, and this time I use my Pro Froster. Ah! If I can get a sound effect of like angels behind that, I will. Because that is how I feel just the environment should be when the Pro Froster comes up. I set it at the right height, and I scrape around my cake a bit at a time. I find it way easier to scrape around a bit at a time rather than the whole thing. I know some people do it all in one go, but I prefer just little sections and I can scrape the ganache off the Pro Froster and keep going around and it just really sharpens up that edge. It's just, just lovely. And once that was done, I just needed to even up the top and there are a couple of patches that are divoted in. I didn't want any of that because I appreciate that mirror glaze is very unforgiving. Fondant is very forgiving. So if I was to lay fondant over it with slight divots in it, it wouldn't notice, it would cover over really well, but mirror glaze I realise is not like that. So I filled everything in, made sure it was all filled in right down to the bottom as well, and then I put it back in the freezer to freeze really hard. So to make the mirror glaze, this is the bit that I will link to for Acorn Bakes video underneath. So the exact quantities you can get from there, but I soak gelatin sheets in water, and then in a saucepan I put together water, sugar, and condensed milk, mixed it and brought it to the boil, and then I added the soap gelatin into that and mixed it in so that it melted and then that whole mixture I poured over white chocolate and stirred it until everything was melted and combined. Now I had two motives for making this cake so one was because I saw Curtis's video from Acorn Bakes and I just wanted to try a mirror glaze cake and the second motive was that I was desperate to use my bubblegum rave sprinkles from my June subscription box for the baking time club. So these were one of the sets I got in there and I just I've said in my Instagram stories before I really feel like the name made these sprinkles. So these are the bubblegum rave ones. These are the watermelon splash ones. These are the tutti fruity party sprinkles. They are so cute. All three of those are from my June subscription box from Baking Time Club and I did an Instagram story and asked people which set of sprinkles they would prefer to see on a cake and it was unanimous. Everyone wanted bubblegum rave sprinkles. I'm like the least ravey person ever. So I needed to do a cake that was going to match bubblegum rave sprinkles and I thought what if I do mirror glaze? What if I match the colours to the sprinkles and then what if I do the bubblegum sprinkles on the mirror glaze cake. So once my mirror glaze was made I divided it between three bowls. I had a large quantity that I was going to do like the bulk colour of the cake and I had two smaller bowls, one in pink and one in blue. So for the pink I used colour splash raspberry and mixed that through. For the blue I used rainbow dust sky blue and for the black sugar 
flare licorice. Now once I had done the pink and the blue and the black, I realised that the pink and the blue were probably a bit too dark to show up against black. So I needed to lighten them. So I got my Americolor white gel and added that into the pink and the blue just to lighten them a bit. So once that was done, I had to leave the mirror glaze to cool to 35 degrees before I put it onto my cake. Once that was done, I took my cake out of the freezer. I had a dish with an overturned bowl in it that I could sit my cake on and I poured my black mirror glaze all over my cake. And this is one of the most fun and exciting things I've done in a very, very long time. I was like, oh my God, I'm like all the people in the videos doing mirror glaze. I just felt so empowered doing mirror glaze. And I swirled it round like they do with the bowl, watched it all fall over the sides and I was just mesmerized by it. I just thoroughly enjoyed doing it, watching it. Oh, it was just magical really. So once the black was on, I then wanted to add some pink and some blue. Now I didn't want tons of pink and blue on there. So instead of pouring it, I used a spoon and and picked up some of the mirror glaze and then just sort of uh, poured in lines. I poured the mirror glaze in lines over the cake for both blue and pink. And once they were on there, I then used my very big palette knife and I pulled it across the top of the cake just once so that it blended those colors together and just flattened out the mirror glaze on top of the cake. I then had to leave the cake just to drip and do its thing. It should be left for about half an hour until it all stops dripping. And then to get rid of the drips at the bottom, I was just, I got caught up and did put my camera back on but I just use a sharp knife to run around the bottom you can see it in Curtis's video he'll run a knife around the bottom and just get rid of the drippy bits there so it leaves all nice and clean and tidy now for the top of mine obviously I need to add my sprinkles so I took my bubblegum rave sprinkles from the baking time club and I sprinkled them over the top however I felt really I didn't have to plan for this I was like do I go all over do I just go to one side and I've ended up doing I was gonna say a crescent but a crescent is now at both ends it's more like a croissant no because a croissant is now at both ends it's like an apostrophe all in all so happy so so happy with my first mirror glaze cake it's a fun cake to make so if you haven't made one already try it because it is fun i enjoyed it but as always if you are baking or cake decorating this week make sure you take photos and use hashtag yes darling on instagram so i can see what you've been up to so many of you were loving the little shout out last week it was very exciting okay so we have got sweet lakes cakes again anita absolutely killing it with an x box cake you can tell this one is hers as well care bears one oh it's so cute so anita is sweet underscore lakes underscore cakes and she's also done a batman one which is awesome it's got a silhouette skyline against the moon with some bats on it it's really clever we have got urban treats underscore who has made mm, chocolate cupcakes biscoff buttercream topped with chocolate biscoff biscuits yes this looks amazing just a slice cakes one of last week's cakes with a delicious vanilla cake with raspberry filling and white chocolate buttercream topped with handmade meringues and macarons, raspberries and silk flowers. Yum! This is so much fun. See, this is why I love hashtag yes darling because it just brings us all together. Oh, so cute! Oh, this is someone from America. Pris Chick. P-R-I-S Chick. And she has done... No way! I think she's done the American flag inside the cake. It is! She's done the freaking American flag inside the cake. Can you see that on there? Or not that is really clever oh she's in georgia that th honestly this is what excites me most is the fact i'm in a little seaside town in england and there are people literally all over the world coming together on this channel and then using the hashtag yes darling and that's how we get to see each other's cakes like that georgia for god's sake I mean, that's amazing oh we have some teachers cupcakes from urban treats underscore as well with some little school books some apples and some chalkboards they are adorable oh my god this is someone in india this is insane literally this still blows my mind because it actually gets me a little bit emotional it's ridiculous i was saying to someone earlier i never used to cry about anything like i used to be so solid say so i was like eight years old i was solid and i hit i'd say 26 27 maybe cry at everything oh god okay so this is someone from india Prisha's underscore deli underscore custom underscore bakes and she's made a wedding cake in pink and gold with a peacock topper it's just amazing really really amazing what is going on why does this happen flies that just want to go through the ceiling this is beautiful this is my kind of cake as well so we have the ginger snap baking company cute name and a makeup cake with all mac and a 
Naked palette and makeup brushes. And this one from the Ginger Snap Baby Company as well. Black and white, not easy to do. It's awesome. This is, I just love hashtag guest styling. It's so much fun for me to look through. So guys, like that's all over. I didn't even check every single page, but there's some UK ones definitely because I know they are UK. America and India. What? What? So yes, if you're baking all cake decorating this week, make sure you use hashtag guest styling on Instagram and I will do another little shout out next week. Make sure you check out Acorn Bakes, linked his page is right underneath this video as I've mentioned like a thousand times now but definitely go check him out, subscribe if you like beautiful delicious looking cakes because that is what he is the specialist of. If you haven't subscribed here already make sure you do click the subscribe button and there are brand new videos every single Monday and if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and make sure you comment because you know I love talking to you. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next Monday.